Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of my Football Manager 2013 series. This episode will be taking on Sunderland in the Premiership. Uh, this match will be happening at Sunderland's home ground, uh, Stadium of Light. Uh, we're just going to have a quick talk to the board and see if uh, see if we can improve anything. Staff-wise, no. Stadium, they, they won't build a new stadium, not yet anyway. Uh, here we go, Youth Recruitment Network. Need to invest in them. Oh. Damn it, okay then they ain't gonna budge on that. That's a shame. Um In terms of uh like the the youth at the club, there is a few homegrown players who I think have potential. But uh oh Big result here in the Capital One Cup. Sunderland's beat Manchester United 4-0. Crikey. And I'm playing them next. Damn. Um, there is a few young players who are homegrown club who I think have the potential. But they're, they're not at the stage, I don't think, where they can, uh, can really kind of get into the squad. But there, there's always possibility that they... Could become really good and uh, get that chance. What's this? He believes I should release this player. Alright, okay then. By his stats, anyway, he's not. Oh, crap. By his stats, he's not, not that great, anyway. I'm um, not going to talk to the press about the next match. I'm not interested in that. And we have mutually released him, I suppose. Um, he's agreeing with the uh, the contract being cancelled. Um, O'Shea, right. Press conference time. Not going to comment, not going to comment, not going to comment. So we have an extra chance they've lost three games in a row. Not going to comment, not going to comment. See when it says when you uh, don't really answer a question, um, I'm not going to respond to Alex Ferguson either. When they uh, ask you a question in press conference, if you don't give them a straight answer, they say like the public really want to know, and it's like, well, unless I feel like telling you, I'm not going to tell you, regardless if you ask me once, twice, or three times. Um, in terms of the team, Marin will start, Lampard will start because they both played really well last match. Petrček will be back in goal. Uh, we're just going to kind of load up the defence. See, Azbukuta didn't have a, the best of uh, first half last match, but he still uh, still did good. I'm going to push Lampard onto the right side and have a uh, Andre Ayew in the middle. And then uh, we'll have the usual wingers. <coughs> Pardon me. Um. In terms of uh, Denver Bar so far, <laughs> that wasn't meant to rhyme. Two substitute appearances, so he hasn't really had the chance to really kind of make an impact. Um, he he will get that chance soon, but he's just kind of finding the uh, the right balance in the team. If uh, I haven't even got him on the bench, well, we c he can sit out for a match. But the the starting lineup. For this match, uh, Petacek, Ashley Cole, John Terry, Cahill, Asbokuta, the usual four defenders I like to play. Um, AU, Lampard, Hazard, Marco Marin, Oscar and Fernando Torres. And on the bench we'll have uh, Ross Turnbull, David Luiz, Ryan Bernard, Ramirez, Victor Moses, Mata and Jordan AU. I'm hoping we'll be able to get three points and really kind of get over that draw we had against Aston Villa and... Uh, Start winning matches again. Assertive. 
Okay, not really a reaction of the players. Oh, there's one. Two. Three. So Hazard, Torres and Azbulkuta all look happy. All the other players I don't think really seem to be listening, but... Hey, ho. Three points right now is really what we need. Um... We don't, we don't want to kind of let the other teams, whether they be uh, rivals or main clubs who are challenging for the Premiership, to um, you know get more points to climb over. But, oh, what a goal. Hazard, fantastic goal. Very nice. Didn't see that coming. Marin crosses the ball, and I think it deflects off uh, Fletcher. Bounces to Hazard, and Hazard just runs with it and hits it. Very nice. Oh, this, is a, this looks a bit like dangerous build up here. Oh, saw that coming though. Damn it. Um, we left far too much space in the uh, on like the the right wing for McLean to run into. Damn. Still plenty of time now. I think that we can still, you know, get the win. We're obviously not going to get a clean sheet now with the fact that we have conceded, but I think a win's still definitely possible. Oh, McLean, it's the woodwork. Oh, right now Sunderland is starting to come out with some fire air. A few players looking anxious and nervous. Asbuku is looking very nervous. Um, I'm gonna try and uh, calm him down, but Asbuku with the throw. Yes, Cahill, not sure if he headed it in or if he chested it in, but that's alright. Long ass throw as well. See, the funny thing is, the ball did not hit any player in the box until, obviously, Cahill got onto the end of it. Very long throw. Right, 2-1 so far, going in the second half. Eds and Hazard. With a goal, Cahill with a goal, and Asbuku with uh, an assist. Right, let's do calmly, because some of them are looking, you know, a bit nervous and that. Bit of team talks. That's better. Asbuku to the Gary Cahill, and uh, Oscar looked delighted. Lampard. Hazard and Torres look happy, and Marco Marin look to have gained confidence. I think I'm going to substitute Marco Marin early into the second half, simply because he's on like 80%, and uh, I think you know we'll get Matter on. Matter will be able to really kind of tear up Sunderland's uh, defence. Well, that was close. This is where uh, hopefully Matt will be able to come on and kind of make an impact on that area of the field coming into pretty much in the last half an hour of full time no highlights still <laughs> Come on, Azbuku with the cross. Oh, I think one goal for us would really kind of seal this result. Hazard, oh. damn, unlucky, but got a corner from it. Matter with the corner. Ayu gets possession outside the box. Can you do something with it? Back to Terry in the centre. Back to Ayu in the box. Oh. Not bad, not bad. It's all right. In terms of opportunities, we've had a lot more um, assistance. Speaking keeps covering that box, but we shall look at that when the match is finished. Come on, don't concede last minute. Don't concede last minute. It's alright. Get a ball out. Oh. I don't know if Petacek would have got to that, but final score 2 1. 
get three points, very happy. Um, you know, I think assertively, a bit of a let off. We weren't good enough, and we have to step things up against better opposition, which the players have took too well. Um, a lot of them look fired up. I think if you look at the ratings of my players, the only player who really played well was Aspel Cooter at an 8.0. Um, crap, I only made one substitute during that. Damn it. Can have a few tired legs next match. But, no, not, not bad. Did alright. Obviously, we need to step things up if we're going to play against top teams. Confidence is very high. Keep our feet firmly on the ground during this. Don't want to comment. Right. Let's look at our next fixture. Our next fixture is against CFR Cluj. This will be the, I think, the second match in like the Champions League this season for us. Um, we're playing away, so. We'll be playing on their turf, but I, st I still think that we can get a win against a team who are considered to be the smallest uh, of, uh, of clubs in our group. Um, let's look at the league table. League table, we've moved up to second on 13 points. Three points behind Aston Villa, who are sitting on 16 points. Um, we have a game in hand. Norwich, 13 points. They've had their game in hand already, so we've got a game in hand on them as well. Um... Manchester United and Newcastle both on 12 points Newcastle's perfect record has now ended uh, they drew so basically by the way things sit right now if even if Manchester United and Newcastle win their matches so they've played 6 matches they'll be on 15 points if we win our next match we will go top of the league on goal difference but we are playing Manchester United so ideally we, we don't want to lose because if we lose to Manchester United they will overtake us in the league so um, yeah Liverpool still bottom of the league um, Man City's moved up quite a few places they're now on 8 points um, Norwich I think surprising me they're Sitting third right now in West Brom, they're doing pretty well. I think Lukaku's done uh, done some quite good football there, isn't he? Yeah, six appearances, four goals, one assist, and two man of the matches. Very nice. But um, yeah, that's all for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And uh, yeah. I'll see you next episode for the CFR Cluj, the second Champions League match of the season. Take care, guys.